Celtica Radio International is an independent commercial radio station which uses the internet as its transmission platform broadcasting in MP3 format. The station has its head office based in Bergend, Wales, and provides a broad mix of programming available worldwide in live, on-demand and downloadable formats. Celtica Radio started broadcasting on June 21, 2000, and is still in the same ownership. In the year 2012 Celtica Radio logged over 1 and 3 quarter million listeners, and achieved over 54,000 podcast downloads. Since November 2012, around 300,000 listeners a month tune into Celtica Radio. On April 23, 2011, the station started broadcasting through the transmitters of Radio Hafrin on 756 kHz medium wave, until February 10, 2015 when Radio Hafrin closed. The broadcasts were for two hours per night, every night from midnight to 2 a.m. local time. Distance or DX listeners who provided a reception report were sent by return of post a QSL card. Radio Hafrin began FM broadcasts on 102. 1 MHz FM at 10.21 a.m. on Monday, August 11, 2014. Celtica radio programs on that frequency started at midnight on Tuesday, August 12. The Celtica radio story goes back to 1979 when a small group of people in the Bridgend area of South Wales wanted to set up their own wholly independent radio station. Over the following 18 years the evolution of the group continued, with the establishment of two hospital radio stations in Bridgend and Neath, the relaunch of broadcasting at Swansea University and two trial broadcasts in 1997 and 1998, culminating in a successful campaign to persuade the licensing authorities that the Bridgen region and community deserved its own local radio station. Leading this group of committed local radio enthusiasts and professionals was Bill Everett. The UK Radio Authority did not give that group the chance of broadcasting to their home area. This decision had the effect of stiffening the resolve of those who had been denied this local radio station license, and led to David Cook, who had also worked on the campaign. Providing the initial financial investment to set up Celtica Radio and its parent company Al Bilco Mediacom. Initially, the business structure was as an unincorporated association, but in 2003, both Celtica Radio and Al Bilco Mediacom became registered limited companies. The station has now expanded and the original group of broadcasters has been joined by others from other parts of the UK and Europe. From 2005 to 2008, John Grierson, the founder and first general manager of Manx Radio, the Isle of Man's national commercial radio station, also broadcast with and advised the group. The Celtica Radio Group is mainly based in South Wales, and makes programs from a matrix of nine purpose-built, private studios. Many Celtica radio contributors are established broadcasters, and have acknowledged track records in the radio industry. All key personnel are experts in their particular field of audio production, broadcasting or radio-related engineering. The station's servers are located at the Red Bus Data Center at the prestigious Canary Wharf Development in London. The station is an official partner organization of Bridgen County Borough Council Arts and Culture Directorate. Celtica Radio are not members of PRS, MCPS, PPL or any of their foreign affiliates. All the music the station transmits is out of the jurisdiction of any of the above organizations. Artists who contact the station for promotional airplay will need to visit the playlist page and agree to the terms and conditions. All shows are downloadable as free podcasts and also available on iTunes, and the programs are usually over an hour in duration. In July 2007, Celtica Radio started being listed on the Reciba Internet Radio Network which allows their broadcasts to be heard without a PC for the first time. From September 2008 to December 2008, certain programs were broadcast on the English language service of Radio Wadenzi. The broadcasts were transmitted late at night and took advantage of ground wave propagation and sky wave refraction off the ionosphere. These characteristics ensured that the broadcasts could be received throughout Central Europe and the east coast of the UK on 1,602 kHz medium wave. The station identified itself as Celtica Radio, broadcasting from the lightship Jenny Bainton through the transmitters of Radio Seagull. Due to significant developments with the company's financial backers in November 2009, the station launched the live internet streaming service of original programming 24 hours a day from their own studios. This channel also has a low bitrate multimedia feed which can be received on all smartphones. The exact nature of the financial development has not been made public. Thanks for watching.